Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I've got another introduction for you guys for another collab. Um, normally I don't have this many things going on and especially this collab is huge. It's so big like when it comes to the amount of products and things that are in it. Like I've never done a project that was more than 13 products probably. I think 13 by Halloween is the biggest one I've done uh, so far. But Elizabeth from the Instagram account Cookie Pants asked me to join in on this project. I thought about it for a little bit, but I decided, well, why not? Um, I've seen multiple people have joined in on this in the meantime already. Officially, it started on the 1st of July. Um, I'm kind of late, but I'm still here and this project lasts for a really, really long time. So I'm thinking I've still got plenty of time to work on my products. Um, in addition to Elizabeth, this like project was kind of also organized by Haley from the Instagram account Makeup Tips 102, if I'm correct, and Paula from A Beauty Guru Made Me Do It, both on Instagram and YouTube. So yeah, Elizabeth asked me to join in through Instagram. I recently created my Instagram account. Um, she kind of started following me there and we started this quick conversation. Um, I will leave my Instagram account down below as well. Would love it if you will start following me there as well. I'm still getting used to it. Like I'm not that much of an Instagram person. Like I follow a lot of people and I'm reading a lot of things, but the posting thing is something that I still need to kind of get into a little bit more, but we'll see. Anyway, the project. So the project that this is gonna be is the 2020 Vision Project Pan and the idea is um, to finish both 20 makeup products and 20 like, non-makeup products, beauty products, however you want to call it, um, before the start of 2020. Which basically means that we've got a year and a half minus like about 20 days for me but <laughs> generally like you've got a year and a half to finish off 40 products of which like 20 makeup and 20 non-makeup um yeah so i'm gonna walk you guys through my 40 products i'm not gonna talk anymore and i'm just gonna jump right into it kind of trying to make some categories so let's see if this um is gonna work so first of all i have two concealers that i want to use up one of them is my collection concealer in the color fair i am right here at this point so there really isn't that much left anymore on this one and my other concealer is this urban decay naked skin foundation and for that one i am about here um yeah that's all there is to say about those then i'm going through to lip products i've got two lip glosses that i want to work on one of them is this nice red one like this is the the packaging is like color red as well so you won't really see the color of this product very well um this is a lip gloss from kruidvat and kruidvat is a dutch drugstore basically and this is in the color rood which is dutch for red so very original name um yeah this one i haven't really used yet so basically it's still full so i'm guessing it's like up until here um i kind of need to like have it stay up straight and then I can shine a light through it and mark it. Then the other lip gloss is from Gosh. It's the On Stage Cool Lip Jam. Um, and as you can see, it looks blue. But I've been told that this blue is kind of a way to kind of bring out the pink in your lips, if I'm correct. So it is not blue on my lips. It is indeed kind of a color that makes it look neutral but brings out some things in your lips for sure um so yeah this one is huge there is 15 mils or 0.5 fluid ounces in here which is so much <laughs> and it's a tube lip gloss as well so it's gonna take me forever i've barely used this one as well so i'd say i'm, I'm about here same thing i need to kind of have this standing up straight for a little bit so i can mark it um yeah then I've got two lipsticks as well. One of them you guys will know and there is not too much product left in here anymore. Like there should be some easy products in here as well, of course. This is the NYX lipstick in B52. And this is all I have left in that one. So it's not a whole lot 
but it's a darker color so it's not like i'm gonna get through this in like a month it's gonna take me a little bit of time to work through this one anyway and then the other one is this catrice lipstick in what was it again it's the absolute moisture lipstick in lovely rose it's a pinky lip stick um kind of a darker more vibrant pink as you can see um yeah and that's what i still have left i've marked these both on a paper but there is no point in showing you that now um you will see like during my next updates if i made some progress and then another lip product is this rimmel apocalypse lip lacquer in the color apocalyptic this is a kind of like bright pink i don't know how well you guys will be able to see that i think it's yeah, you can probably tell okay um i barely use this one as well and of course like the top part here is black so it's really hard to say where i am but i'd say i am about here or so so i've still got a whole lot left in this one as well then another lip product there are plenty of lip products in here is a lip balm this is the i love coconut and cream lip balm and now yeah, i've not really used this one very much yet and as you can see this is a huge tin if you compare it to my hand as well um there is 15 mils in here as well similar as that lip gloss so this is gonna take me some time for sure so it's good that this is a year and a half long project another product that is gonna be not that easy to finish off is this pout polish from sleek um in sugar may this is an orange like tinted lip balm kind of and as you can see this is fairly big as well there is 10 grams of product in here um, it's not listed in mils or ounces so yeah this is this is huge as well so I'm gonna be working on this one for quite some time as well okay then we're moving over to kind of my eye category I guess um, first of all, a really hard product for me to go through as well. I want to finish off the black shadow that is still left in this Lancome Quattro so I can actually get this out of my collection. You've seen it in like multiple projects probably, but yeah, it's about time for this to get going. So, yes. Um, another eyeshadow that I want to work on as well is this one. Um, I've already finished off the gold side in this duo quite some time ago so i want to finish off the dark brown in here as well this is the catrice um, absolute eye color duo in help i'm stranded and yeah this darker color is the one that i want to finish off over the next year and a half it's really big for a dark color but at the same time i've got a year and a half to work on it and i can kind of use this in my crease maybe it's a little bit on the dark side for that but definitely as an outer v type of color so hopefully that will turn out okay this is one that I think is going to be a little bit more tricky to like really get all the way finished, but we'll see. Um, and other eyeshadow is this Makeup Forever um, Artist Shadow in M536. And this is kind of a single, as you can see. Um, I've already hit some pan on this as well. Um, and I'm using this one basically mostly in my brows, although actually I'm using it as a bronzer a little bit now as well because I got a little bit of a tan when I was out in Greece. Um, but most of the time I'm using this as my brow shadow and I might actually use this in the crease at some point as well. But this is a fairly big shadow. Let's see, this is, well, two grams. It's not actually that big, but it, it looks really big anyway, especially if I only use it on my brows, of course. Then I also decided to put a pigment in here. This is the Da Vinci Cosmetics pigment in Deja Vu. It's a um, kind of pinky color. I don't know how well you will be able to see this. Um, like I don't want to go into much detail for these products because we've got quite a bit to go through. And I am kind of on this marking right here for this one. So still really quite a bit to go. It's a pigment, so it's gonna take me some time but yeah, I want to work on some of my pigments as well. So I thought, let's put it in here so I will have some time to get through it. And like kind of a gimme product, I need a few of those as well, of course, is this mascara from Clinique. It's the high impact mascara and I'm almost done with the mascara that I'm working on. This one is going to be next. So that basically means I will have this one finished in three to four months, basically. That was, I think, two times basically in one sentence. Anyway... Um, on to the face products. First product here is my NARS 
um, highlighter in Albatross. It is still fairly new. There is a teeny tiny bit of a dip in here, but like you, you can hardly tell, like I can hardly tell basically. Um, so there still is a good amount of product in here. What is in here? Um, this is 4.8 grams of product. So I've got some work to do here. Um, yeah, but I've got a year and a half. I'll keep saying that. I think I should be able to do this. Next, I've got this primer from Gosh. This is a Velvet Touch Foundation Primer. Um, I never use primers really. I still have this one left, so I just want to get this one out of my collection. And I am right here right now. And this is like this pumps up, so I, I really don't have that much left anymore. I just need to make sure I focus on this one. And then hopefully I can kick this one out within like one, maybe two months. Hopefully. Next, I've got my NYX blush in taupe that I'm using as my contour. Um, I've been using this a little bit already, of course. Um, I can see a slight dip starting to form in here. But there still is, like most of the product is still in here. And this contains 4.5 grams of product. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna keep using this the way I am and hopefully I can finish that one off. Then I have this blush from e.l.f. It's a mineral blush, so it's uh, a lot of loose powder in here and it is in the color Joy. And Joy is actually a really nice, slightly glowy, really neutral blush. So I really, really like this and um, yeah, I'm gonna work on this one. Pigments are always hard for me to finish, so I'm wondering how this mineral blush is gonna work. Um, guessing it will be somewhat similar and there really is a good amount of product in here. I've marked it up here, um, but in total this has 0.12 ounces of product. It doesn't say anything in grams, so I don't know the grams of this one, but I think it is about like four grams, maybe a little less than four grams. Not sure. <laughs> But yeah, I'm gonna work on this over the next year and a half. And then lastly, I forgot this one in my eye products. This I count as two products because it has two sides, basically. Um, this is the Miss Helen eyeshader pencil in uh, 16. And like it has the light green side and a dark green side. So I'm counting this as two products. Both sides are one product, basically. And that is 20 makeup products, that is. So now let's go on to the non-makeup products. Um, I have to say this was harder for me to get to. Um, initially, when I was talking to Elizabeth, I told her I don't even think I have 20 like non-makeup products that I can put in this project. So I was thinking about doing this in a rolling way. But then when I started gathering my products, I realized I do have 20 products. I don't have a whole lot more, but I still managed to like reach the 20. So let's take a look at those. So you'll see that I have some products that are pretty much already done because I just don't have that many of these type of products. So I had to throw some easy ones in. And basically these are all products that I am like actively using, like except for maybe one or two of them. So I'm, I feel like all my non-makeup products are gonna be finished within like three, four months and then I have all my makeup products left, but we'll see. Uh, anyway, first, this is one that is pretty much already almost finished. This is the Freeman Barefoot Soothing Foot Cream. Um, yeah, nothing more to say about that. I am right here. So there really is not that much product left in this one anymore. Um, it's just a matter of actually using it because I do not use this as consistently as maybe I'd like to, um, to get it done. So yeah, that's number one. Then I've got a shower um, milk. This is a moisturizing shower milk from Original Source, Innocent, Sweet Apple and Vanilla. Um, I am right here and yeah, I'm gonna work through this. I'm expecting that this one will be done in like two, three months. Um, but I actually have a second shower cream. These two are the only shower creams I have in my collection right now. Um, shower milk, I mean, uh, also from Original Source and this is the Green Banana and Bamboo Milk. Um, shower milk and I really really like this scent I've bought this one before and I loved it so much that I repurchased it so yeah those are my shower products and these are the only shower milks products gels whatever that I have basically um, one 
other product that kind of fits that category as well though is this super beauty um bath and shower gel well it's a shower gel as well i guess um but this one i use kind of for like when i take bubble baths um and this one is in raspberry and cranberry it is pretty big but also this one i think it will take me like maybe three months and then it will be done because i do take baths yeah, every now and then just uh, because i work out a fair bit and sometimes it's just nice to kind of like for my muscles <laughs> nice and soothing i guess um so i will be using this fairly regularly for sure and then because i feel like we're kind of in the category of like body care and stuff this is my body lotion the only body lotion that i have in my collection uh, it's from another stories and it's in, in the scent arabesque wood um, and i am right here on this one so i think it's good to have this one in a project because that will mean that i will use it more regularly than i do at the moment and one more body product actually this is the stress relief treatment oil from dermalogica um and i am right here on this one this oil is really meant for like when you have sore muscles or i try like when i think certain muscles are going to be sore i put this on and i really feel like this kind of relieves the tension and the muscle pain that i either have or would get on those muscles so yeah that is this one and like this one is almost finished as well but i just had to find some products to put in here basically and every time i think i'm almost there this is also a body product this is a soap and glory body scrub in flake away and well there is not a huge amount of product left in here anymore either but i don't use this very regularly so it's also good to have this in a project i am right here kind of for my marking so yeah that's that's all my body products um moving on to a smaller category in here and that is the perfumes i have two perfumes that i want to put in here one of them is this chloe love story perfume i am right here on this one not a huge fan of this one i don't have too many perfumes left anymore so i just want to work through this one i think i have like four or five perfumes left in my collection at the moment um so i've decided to put this one in this is definitely going to take me a little bit longer so this is one of the products that's gonna linger in comparison to most of my other products i think um together with that one my other perfume that i want to put in here and this is a solid perfume um i don't have the name for this one anymore it's basically from a web shop um that i used to like buy bars of soap and other things from um, body lotions and they also made a solid perfume of one of the body lotions that I loved. I loved that scent. And then they made a solid perfume out of it. So I had to buy that. Um, so I've got a little dip in this one already. If you can tell. I hope you can. Um, but there still is a huge amount of product left in here. Like solid perfumes go so slowly. So yeah. We'll see how quickly I can go through this. This one is definitely one that will be with us as one of the longest i'm fairly certain then hair products i've got one because i don't really do hair basically this is the Badis dry shampoo in heavenly volume and da -da -da, where am i i am right here so i've got about half left um and i use this at least once or twice a week normally so i will move through this in an okay pace i guess then i've got this deodorant it's from nivea and this is the invisible for black and white deodorant um when i shake it because of course i can't really see through it i think i am about here but same thing again like i, I don't have like 100 deodorants in my collection so i thought i'd just put this one in yeah okay and now we're moving on to my face care products um First of all, I have two cleansers that I want to put in here. And one of them I use in the morning, one of them I use in the evening. And these are the only cleansers that I have. This one is the Image Skincare or Medic Balancing Facial Cleanser. Um, and I'm here. So I think this is going to take me one, maybe two months. And then this one will be done. Because um, yeah, I use this on a daily basis. So yeah, we'll see. Um, this one will take me a little bit longer because it is fairly new still this is the dermalogica pre-cleanse balm 
Um, and for this one, I am up here. So I've still got a good amount of product left to go. But also this one I use on a daily basis. So I don't think it's going to take me more than a couple of months to finish this one off either. Then I've got a toner or tonic, however you want to call these things. This is the Pixie Glow Tonic. I think we all kind of know this one. It's the, It has like 5% glycolic acid. Um, so it's kind of an exfoliating toner. And I really like that because I've always got things going on on my face especially in this area so having a extra exfoliating um, step in my skincare I kind of like so that's why I have this one for and I'm still all the way up here I recently repurchased this one so this one is gonna take me a little while to finish off you don't need that much of it but like I use it in the morning and in the evening so then we've got um, like face creams I guess this is my day cream that i use it's the image skincare prevention plus daily matte moisturizer with spf 32 plus um yeah this one i use every single day i've repurchased this multiple times i love it um, and i'm currently here so i'd say two three months and then also this one is gonna be finished and then i'm kind of moving on to masks now this one i kind of use as a night cream um, but only two times a week because it it will be a little bit too much if I use this every single day. This is the Image Skincare Ageless Total Overnight Retinol Mask. And because of like the retinol and stuff that's in here, I only use this twice because it would be too strong to use every day. I don't think my skin would like that very much. So I've got another cream that I use um, on the daily basically. But that one was almost done as well. So I thought I'd put this one in and not that cream that is almost done because I didn't want like... All of my products gone within like one or two months so this is going to take me a little bit longer because i only use this like twice a week then i've got another image skincare uh, mask this is the ageless total resurfacing mask and this one i use like once a week it is really strong as well it has like glycolic acid in here as well um so i use this once a week it has a little bit of like scrubbing particles in here as well i do like it but it feels like really strong so i I'm afraid to use this more than once a week basically um, but I am right here on this one so I actually think that this one should be done in like one or two months as well <laughs> then a mask that's hopefully hopefully gonna last me a little bit longer than one or two months is this Nivea one minute urban details mask I actually picked this one up today because I also wanted like a more moisturizing mask and this one I thought would be a good one for that because it is the moisture version of this like line basically I'm all the way up here um, but I haven't used this one yet so I wouldn't be able to tell you anything about this yet but for sure I'll be able to tell you something during my next updates and then um, I've got this lost face product here Another image skincare. Yeah, I know I've got like loads of image and dermalogica in here, but it's because like I go to a nearby spa on sort of a regular basis to get facials done. And these are the products that they work with and the products that they recommend. And I've noticed that they work for me. So I keep buying them. It's not like any sort of promotion or sponsorship or anything here. Um, I wish they would sponsor me because I keep buying it. But um, yeah. I just really really like their products and like my therapist recommends these and they work for me so why not um yeah so little disclaimer even though i'm sure you guys understand this this is the image skincare clear cell clarifying pads there are like 60 pads i think in here i've been using this for a little bit although i'm kind of afraid that this might be a little bit too much with like the other like I say an exfoliating type of things that I've already got so I have been using this a little bit less recently I think when I use up that mask I will be using this a little bit more again um, basically this has like all these teeny tiny pads I don't know how well you guys will be able to tell in here um, that I cut in four and then I only use it on the areas where like I really have breakouts or something going on so if most of the time I kind of use it here and then on my nose just for kind of the pores and stuff that's going on in there but apart from that i don't use it all over my face so this will take me forever to finish just because i've got 60 pads and i cut them in four and i like use them okay and then my camera decided to die i don't know exactly where it was anymore but i think i was saying um if i only use this once or twice every week 
Um, and there are 60 pads in here that I cut in four, then this is probably gonna be the product that is gonna last me the longest. Most of these products will be gone within like six months at the longest. This one will be here with us for a year and a half. I would not be surprised, so we'll see. And then the last product, thanks camera for dying when I was almost finished, this one. Um, this is a hand wash. It's the Baileys and Harding hand wash in Midnight Fig and Pomegranate. Um, as you can see, it's nicely Christmas themed with Christmas trees on it and stuff. But it smells nice, so why not use it at this time of year as well? Um, and this one is also one that's gonna be finished soon. I've got like some of these products, I'm like, should I put them in here? But like, I want to reach those 20 products, so I guess I will. Um, I'm here. So I've only got this much left, which like I didn't really see that until I checked it today, like with a flashlight. So reminds me I need to go and buy a new one. So th that's that's a good thing that came out of finding these products for this project. Anyway, I'm like this one. I'm going to be working on this one and I'm guessing this one will be done by next time. And that's it. Yay, we did it. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much if you stayed until this point because these were so many products, this was so much to talk through, um, but you did it. Thanks. <laughs> uh, so I hope to see you in my next video. What I'm going to do then is just show you the products that I have progress on because I'm not going to ramble through 40 products every single time and make like a 20 to 25 minute long video. Yeah, I'm going to rest my voice now. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Bye bye.